all right hello y'all it is me again it is about that time of the week for another design video with me and this week i want to show y'all how to animate um type in photoshop with gradients because gradients are all the rage everywhere anywhere anytime you can use a gradient and it looks good clean and yeah just nice so before we jump into this i do want to introduce myself because i've noticed i just get straight to business and that's rude so i am danielle um i am a part of color which is an art and design firm that focuses on highlighting muted shades just meaning um that we represent those who are misrepresented or underrepresented um, in the art and design community. That is why we're here and that is why we are doing this today. So let's just get straight into it. So I've got my layers all here set up already. You'll have your graphic and how you want to do it. And again, we are animating type in Photoshop. So your layers that you have, like I've got my background layer here, the black um, background layer, I've got it locked. We're not animating any of that, so that is why it's locked. Um, this light one is technically the high and the light. So let me go ahead and rename that. I just, I, if you were to have two separate pieces of type, they would be two separate layers, but you could go in and, um, you could literally go in and make that a group or convert them both to a smart object by shift clicking both the layers um, that way once you create your video timeline you've got less layers less confusion a lot easier to work with um, then i went ahead and made a gradient layer and the way i made this gradient was just with the paintbrush tool i took the soft brush the soft round brush zero hardness made it huge and just kind of like blotted colors together. You can even add a Gaussian blur if you want a little more softness, um, which is all the rage right now, those soft gradients. So I didn't do all of that. I just added a little hue and saturation to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert that down to a smart object as well. Um, and then once you've got your hue and saturation layer, like with this one, I added hue and saturation because it did make it a little softer and help the transitions out a little more too. But So I'm gonna go ahead and take this layer, go to layer and um, create clipping mask. So that is what, um, by having the layer above what you want it to go inside, once you create that clipping mask, it clips it into that object. So there you go, now you've got your layers. So we've got our type and we've got the, um, the gradient. So we'll create our video timeline. And from here, all we'll have to do is, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a keyframe right now where we're at um, for the transform. And then I'll, um, I'm gonna double right click the little time thing on the timeline and it has this come up. So I'm gonna go to time, I wanna go, Let's say at one second, we want it to, um, we want the gradient to shift like 45 degrees about. And then once we hit enter, it creates the keyframe for us because it's changing over into that position. And then We'll go, I'm going to right click, go to two seconds, and command T, and shift it over to 90, and hit enter, creates a keyframe, I'm going to right click again, go to time, three seconds, and we're just going to do this until we get to the end point and our gradient has made a full circle. Okay, so we've got our loop play back there. If that's not checked, go ahead and check it. And now let's see. This will be a little slow, maybe like the first couple times that you push it through, but once it goes through that first time and you've got like that whole green loaded bar down there, it should go a little faster 
and you should be able to see your animation a little more, a little more in real time. So I'm just kind of going and moving it, shifting it from the center so that it doesn't just look like it's rotating behind the text. It's kind of like, what? But, so I'm going to go ahead and just shift it around a little bit so that the gradient isn't making that circular motion within the type. You can, you can tell. So. But I'm not going to mess with either end points because we, I want those to be the same. I want those to be the same, I want the starting point to be the same. Okay, yeah, perfect. I think that this is exactly what I wanted. Beautiful. All right, so thanks for coming along this journey with me. If you did it, I would love to see what y'all did. Um, if you have suggestions for me, please leave comments below. Like and subscribe, because we will be doing videos like this every Wednesday. And um, yeah, I am open to suggestions. Please let me know what you would want to see or if there's anything that, you know, I need help with. I'm open to it. And thank y'all for watching.